the slug. Probably my favorite settlement to build in Fallout 4. And there's a reason behind this, it's the only one that has a decent organization and a decent settler's population when you actually get it at the beginning. And I also like the lore behind it, the fact that Wiseman is trying to make a safe haven for ghouls in the commonwealth and maybe build something better, something bigger that the entire commonwealth can see. Now, I've uh, helped him do this and a small sanctuary with a small trading post. Now let's have a look and then we should go in for a first person view. Here we are, in front of the slog, the best star berries in the commonwealth. We can see a double gate, some protection up there, laser turrets and a missile turret and of course the light one. They don't do a lot but they look awesome. Let's go inside. As we come in on the right we can see a guard with a radio tower behind her to signal if there's something that they cannot handle so Minutemen patrols can come in and help them. See there's a Minuteman right now but is alone. Anyway and on our left, of course, courage, victory tomorrow, we have the PCG barracks, military style, not a lot of stuff in here, with the PCG flag, People's Commonwealth Guard, they have their own bathroom, of course. Further up, we have two latrines that are for this diner slash bar. It's not pretty fancy, but it still gets the job done. This is for travelers who wanna have a drink, or maybe traders who stop in to trade with the farm. They can stop, have a drink, have something to eat, then go on their way. And if not, as the billboard says, there are rooms for rent. Let's go upstairs. Here is one of them and here's the second. They're mostly identical just like you will see in a motel or a hotel or any inn. It has a small kitchen area, two beds, painting and of course both of them have their own bathroom. Some chairs. Let's go further down. As you can see these tables, they're all here from the start. Also these chairs, all, uh, how do you call these, lawn chairs? They're here from the start. I just moved them all and grouped them here because one, they look better this way. And second, the NPCs at night when they move around from place to place, they don't bump into them. I have put one of these oil lamps at every corner of the swimming pool just because they look awesome at night. The next building here is a warehouse. This is the farm's warehouse. It's not full with anything because the production is not that big but it's still enough to get the settlement going. And in case it ever grows we have more storage space up here. Let's go around. I've replaced the old fence, the old rusted fence, with a better one. It just looks a lot more better this way. Change the clothes. Change the clothes to all the settlers, like I do in every build. Here, it's another guard tower, but this one is only automated for the behind area. I haven't done a, a lot with all these crops, but I've built it more uh, water pumps. It just made sense to have more water pumps around the crops just to water them in a sunny day. 
this is of my main water purification system and in here I have one of the generators I'm using, I'm using two fusion generators. Why I use two fusion generators I don't know, I just like to have a lot of power. Here we have of our first house, our first settler home. With a small kitchen area, radio, beds, painting. You can see this place was put together with salvage materials because Wiseman needed only some help because he had a vision. So, as an RP, all this was made by him, a little help from uh, the Minutemen and the rest of the ghouls because the materials are already here in around all these dilapidated buildings, all you need to take them and remake them, just like Lego parts. Here we have a small area that's mostly maybe for a smoke, a grill, or just to chill. In here, it's the shop, with all the workbenches that you can need. not much but I'm saying I say the wise man and his ghouls did pretty good for themselves here this is one of the biggest houses I have because it's more of a common area it holds four uh, four settlers of course it has its own food uh, and kitchen area and of course the bathroom Apparently they were drinking some beers last night. Now let's go in and check the trade area. Vim machines, straight from Dalton's farm. Where our Vim factory is. Nuka Cola machines. Now let's go in here. This is the trading area. Let's go in here. This is our clothing and trader. With a nice comfortable area just to sit around, maybe get a drink from one of these machines, chill if the sun's too hot. And in here we have our pharmacy and our barber shop which right now it's unmanned, but I will get a settler to play the role of the barber. Behind is the second generator, the second fusion generator. Let's go upstairs. I so like these covers, I, I really do. Here's the first floor. These are the houses of the original settlers. They're more decked. Because the other ones are for new and upcoming settlers. So they don't have a lot of stuff in them because practically there's nobody living in them. Or at least one person or two persons, but that's it because I'm not at full population with the settlement. kitchen area and of course bathroom a small sitting area maybe to chill at night here we have only two settlers one uh, it's Jones the other ones I don't know they're the name settlers In here we have another big area with three beds. Not a lot of stuff. If I'm not mistaken, only one of these beds is used. 
right now. We'll see in the future. Here is our guard post. From up here he can see the entire road up to the settlement in front of them, or not settlement, the factory in front of them where the forge is, in case those guys bust a move. More sitting area, two couches, a table, more covering. Behind here are some more defenses. So, in my head, by using most of his funds to buy uh, proper defenses and getting all the materials that he needed to build his settlement out of scavenged stuff, Wiseman did a pretty good move, so he's very good defended, he invested in walls, in defenses, and the, ha the houses and all the rest it's made with scavenged materials from around the commonwealth. Let's go upstairs, this is the last part, this is Wiseman's uh, small apartment. This should be a good start for this ghoul settlement. Maybe I'll revisit it, I'll uh, come back to it and rebuild it when I get 40, 50 ghouls around just to send in here, add more stuff, build a few more buildings, but for the population I have right now and it's not full, let me check. Okay, yeah. I only have 15 ghouls out of 32, so nothing impressive. I hope you like what I did here, and if you like this, please uh, leave a like and maybe subscribe to see some more build videos. See you next time.